welcome to the channel. Uh, today I'm helping Dylan rewire some lights on his JKU. He's got a 2016 uh, JKU Rubicon Hard Rock Edition on 40 inch tall tires. And he's got a couple lights that are not working anymore. So we're gonna take a look at it, see what's going on with it. Maybe clean up some wiring for him, make it all nice and pretty. Do apologize about the background noise. Uh, neighbor is power washing his driveway. So if you hear that in the background, that's what's going on. Um, but I uh, gotta deal with that. So. Should be here pretty soon. I'm gonna tidy up my garage real quick so we can destroy it again. And uh, we'll get you some uh, footage and see what's going on with his Jeep. All right, everybody. So I got Dylan here and we got Hades and we are gonna take a look at this rat's nest of a wiring to see what we need to do. Open her up. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is what we got. You haven't even seen the batteries I did. Oh yeah, let's, let's, let's see, that one's... That one goes all the way down and through the Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right, so we got our work cut out for us. Awesome. All right, everybody, so I know it looks like organized chaos, but uh, we are making some headway here. Uh, just running tracing wires here. Um, we've got this switch is for the um, rock lights, but we're going to tie in the halos with it as well. And uh, just opened up the grill here to uh, get and see. And I think the main issue is we've just got uh, terminals like this where they're just not making good connection anymore. So we're going to have to redo those. And uh, Ollie's going to help us. So should be a good time. But uh, yeah, with wiring, it's it's not really hard. It's just tedious work. So. Uh, one circuit at a time and we'll get them back together. everyone thanks for watching the video today um, big shout out to Dylan for bringing his JK over letting me help him rewire some of the lights we got everything working which was the main goal for today um, he was a huge help when I was at Windrock uh, Trail 16 and so now I get to repay the favor so that's kind of how the Jeep community works you know you help those that um, may, may not know how to do something and they don't have that tool or experience and we can come together as a community to help each other out. And I think that's really, really cool. Also wanted to let everybody know, here locally, this is something that I'm gonna be offering. So if you are interested in having that kind of simple stuff added to your Jeep that you might not feel comfortable doing, so like your rock lights, halo lights, auxiliary lighting, permanently mounted radios, just reach out to me and we can kind of discuss and maybe come up with a package for you and you know see if I can help you out. If I can, great. If not, that's fine too. Also, over 300 subscribers, huge shout out to everyone who has subscribed. Really appreciate it, helps grow the channel. And the, the main goal um, initially was 500, but I think I can hit 1,000 by the end of the year. So that's gonna be the new goal going forward. So definitely need your support if you have not subscribed. Comments also help drive the algorithm for YouTube. And I know you hear everybody talk about this, but this is the truth. So please just you know drop me a line, say, hey Kyle, I like this about your vehicle, or videos rather. I don't like this. That way, so I can kind of customize the videos and uh, provide content that you all enjoy. So with that being said, appreciate y'all. 
Hope you have a great day and we'll catch you on the next one. And for those of you wondering, this is how much of wiring that we took out of the Jeep that was no longer needed. I did replace two wires for a power and ground, but we were able to basically add uh, circuits together so it wasn't as complicated and made it a lot easier. It really helps out. We're over 300 subscribers, which is awesome. Thank you all who, to you, have the, uh, I cannot talk. <laughs> Was I not recording that?